Hey, Terrence, thank you. We are at the intersection of Superior and East 6, where people are continuing to block this roadway. Cleveland police officers have it bar uh, blocked off, where building officials have kind of roped off portions of East 6 surrounding the building where it was partially collapsed yesterday afternoon. They're not taking any chances until inspectors can give them the all clear. What we know happened is yesterday around 4 o'clock, portions of that building came crashing down hundreds of bricks onto the street below. In fact, even crushing a van that was parked at a nearby meter. Thankfully, no one in the vehicle or on the sidewalk was at the, uh, injured at the time. No one was nearby. Cleveland fire officials told News Channel 5 that building inspectors and architects were in the building and on the roof examining the structure yesterday. They will continue to do so this morning as the investigation continues. Uh, there was no construction going on in the building at the time, but we're told there will be a number of possibilities considered, including strong winds during the time of the collapse. That's an evaluation that they will make, and based on that evaluation, they're going to do all the calculations, all the determinations, and then we'll go from there. You're taking a look at a bucket that was unloaded just a short time ago that will probably be used later on this morning as the inspection continues. Uh, again, don't plan on coming near this road on East 6 between Superior and Euclid. It will be closed down for the foreseeable future. Reporting in downtown Cleveland, Nick Foley for News Channel 5, back to you in the studio.